Testing one, two, three. Before I get into this Q&A, I just want to take the time to thank every single one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. We finally hit 7,000 subs. That is incredible and doesn't make any sense to me, and I just want to thank you guys real quick for that. All right. So, let's get into it. It's Q&A time, baby. We have a four comments from Yusuf Salah. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not, but I am single and ready to mingle. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Second question. Do you have any kids? No, I am not, but I'm single and ready to mingle. Third question. Are you married? No, I am single and ready to mingle. <laughs> and the rest, I think, is a comment. More than half of you guys asked about how I do the things that I do, so I'm just going to make another video for that. I think that'll be better and more informative for you guys. But this is just a Q&A about my personal life and so on. This question is from Coco Mix Up. Do you have any people in mind or talented YouTubers slash creators you would like to work with? P.S. I love your friends. Oh, I would love to work with William Singe. Um, I think he's a, he's a beast. I would also like to work with Jay Alexander, 95. Yo, he, he <laughs> this man is really talented, and I think you guys should check him out. Um, he used to do covers back in the day, but you guys should definitely check him out. Um, who would I like to collaborate with? Honestly, I think that that list is too large to even think about. Um, there are so many artists that I would love to collaborate with. I wouldn't stop. Like I would collaborate with everybody if I had the chance. Three users asked how old I am. I am 19 and I'm turning 20 in March of next year. Uh, greetings from Germany. Hey. And Barry Lee said, where do you come from? I'm living in Pennsylvania right now. Um, I was born in Bristol Township, Pennsylvania. OMO knee vibe said, talk about your process when you want to make music. And Hash Brown, I love the name by the way. How do you go about writing and creating originals? When I want to make music, I think about the instruments first. In, in the beat, as well as whatever instruments you choose to put into it is, is awesome. If you like how that is, then it's easier to write to. I normally go instrument first before I write because I don't. it's easier for me that way. But a lot of people tell me I should do it the other way, so I might try that out too. Whenever I want to make an original, I try to use what's around me. I know that sounds crazy, but um, all, all, sometimes we even, the, me and the team, we'll, uh, we'll just start singing something off the top of our heads and we'll go from there and see what comes up with that. And we focus on the instrumental first and then once we get a feel for it, we can write to it. And then after we write to it, we put the vocals back in the Fruity Loops and then we mix from there. And as far as writing is concerned, I like to do, I like to write the song as it's being panned out. As we're listening to it, I like to write to it. Um, but sometimes I'll find myself like in a certain area of a song and I'll write there and then I'll go back and then it ties into it anyway. And I love when that happens because it's beautiful. User Mandy said, will you ever plan on starting a merch? If so, what exactly would you create? Plan, okay. Very soon, probably. Uh, I'm Right now I feel like if the, the design has to look dope first and pretty much that's the, um, that's the hard part and, and even working on an album is like trying to figure out what it looks like, the visual. I think the visuals are very important when it comes to songs as well, because that's how people remember it by mostly. You think, what do you think of the song in your mind? You're like, oh snap, this reminds me of the cover. If so, what exactly would you create? I'd probably do a bunch of t-shirts. I was thinking about flags too. I think flags look dope. Um, bandanas maybe. Oh, definitely hoodies. I love hoodies. Liam Camity asked, are you going to do any more John Bellion covers and are you going to put your instrumentals up for people to use their own covers now this is a big one and i know people aren't gonna like this but um i don't know i don't i don't i don't really feel comfortable with putting out any other people's instrumentals i just use them for my own covers i don't know that makes me selfish in a certain way but i mean sorry about that my camera shut off real quick i don't know why but that was weird 
I will probably be doing more John Bellion covers in the future. But um, as far as the instrumentals, I don't really feel comfortable with releasing them. That's a very difficult question because I feel like I'm stopping people from putting their own talent out there, and I, that's not right. But I still, I still, part of me still don't feel comfortable with releasing the covers that take us like five hours to do each. It takes a very long time to redo some of the parts in Bell, and you know, you already know. Bellion, how, how much of a genius this man is, but having to like having to put hours in analyzing how he made the song, <laughs> how he made the songs, just recreating. It, it's a very long process, and I just I still don't feel comfortable with releasing it to you guys right now. I'm not saying I won't do it in the future, but right now, as far. As I'm concerned, I don't really feel comfortable with putting him out there. But maybe in the future, I'd have to have a conversation with me and the team about that one. But thanks for asking that. That's a very important question. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know about him, and I've been silent about it. I asked people to submit their Q&As a while back, so I've I've grabbed one from the like page on Facebook. Uh, this guy, Zacharias Dimitri Rivera. Hey there, Kid Travis, here for the q and I was curious, what got you into making your own music and having the courage to put it out there? I remember like in the eighth grade, I got my first solo. A brief story, um, I got my first solo and I was so terrified. I didn't know how people would react to it. And um, it was Josh Groban's uh, it's the, it's the song from Polar Express. I had a solo for that song. Um, I think it's called Believe from the Polar Express. Yeah, I, I had the first I had the, the first solo in that song, and they made us sing it to the entire middle school. <laughs> so in front of at least 100 or so people, I had to sing that song, and I was absolutely terrified. I, cl I literally closed my eyes, and when I opened them up, the reaction I got was so insane. Like I was like, oh, wow people actually liked it it was one of the craziest experiences of my life but that really the entire year in middle school really opened my eyes to a lot of things and i uh i wouldn't be here without that you know without that entire experience but as far as the confidence for putting stuff out there i think that you should put whatever you make out i don't care if it's garbage if you think it's amazing if you think it's okay put it out there because as soon as you put it out there, you could worry about the next thing. Even if people hate it, you know what I'm saying? If people hate it, they give you constructive responses that you could just move forward with. You know what I'm saying? If you, if they say, yo, you suck, hey, let me figure out a way to get better. It's not really the nicest comment in the world, but if it's what you love, do it. And put it out there, share it with people. I have a feeling there's more supportive people than negative people, you know, and put your stuff out there, my friend. Do it. Do it a thousand times and never stop doing it. If it's what you love, do it. I should honestly take my own advice, though. I haven't uploaded any of my new music. I've been so busy. So busy. I'm trying to make it as decent as possible. And sometimes that doesn't work in the long run. So I got to put it out there soon. Finally, on Twitter, we have a tweet from Tara at Tara Does Things. Akia Travis, what kind of vocal effects do you use for your songs? I especially like the one you used in your iRobot cover. I think I already said I wasn't going to do these kind of comments, but I'm just going to do this one in particular. The vocal effects that I use, um, there's this effect called Flyingus. I've been using that a whole lot lately. There's a plugin from Native Instruments called VC2A, vocal compressor. You, you can do vocals, piano, guitar, bass, drums, and um, I like what it does for the vocals. Um, also, I use a lot of EQ, um, sound goodizer, a little bit, a little bit of it. You don't need too much because then it messes with everything else. Convolver, delay. Uh, yes, I use autotune. I know, I know. You could you could yell at me, you could boo at me. I use autotune sometimes. <laughs> Aunt Therese Evo, that's what it is. Aunt Therese, their entire series of auto tuners, they do a good job at it. Um, and they make it, it's very customizable. Um, my thing is you have to, I feel like if you know what key you're in, it makes it a whole lot easier. Another announcement, my friend has just dropped his new song called Riptide, the audio and the music video. You guys should please check it out. He was in my last video, Steven Rizarov. I'll put the box right here for you guys to click on also it's in the link down in the description below he's also on my channels feature channels list please check out this man he's his vocals are ridiculous you guys got to check him out also shout out to matt gold for directing the video 
Also, I just want to take the time to thank you guys all for commenting and sending in your questions. If your comment wasn't featured in this video, it's for a reason. I still have them. Don't worry. I'm definitely going to be doing another video on that. That's a that's for a whole other topic. This video will be hours longer than it should be for talking about that. A lot of edits. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Kid Travis. Out. Go follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Go like my page. Become a fan. Have any requests? Then your wish is my command. You can post a comment or leave a like. And don't be afraid to just subscribe. I want you to know. Thank you for watching this video. And I also have some originals out. Don't forget to check them out too. <laughs>